चित्तस्य पदेन वाचा मलम शरीरस्य च वैद्यकेन यो पाकरोतम प्रवरम मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलिराण तो सहना सहनौन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिषावह ओ शाति 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 सहनावतु सहनाभुनक्तु सहवीर्यम करवाह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिषावह ओ शाति 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 सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा वंदे गुरुपरंपरा यस्यामद्यम नहीं नाम गोत्र न सूत्र नो जातिर्न वर्णाभवति पुषो नानुपम सम न स्त्री नाकारम नाम जन निमरण नास्ति पुण्यम न पापम नो तत्व तत्वीक साज सामसम सद्गु म नमा सद्गु म नमा सोफर मै नमस्कार अस्ट सनातन धर्म Shankaracharya and all my gurus, and uh, I welcome you all for this today's English discourse on meditation. Welcome you all. Today we are taken up already Patanjali Yoga Sutra seventh step, that is the meditation dhyana. actually dharana dhyana and samadhi all the three step put together it is called as meditation so antaranga sadhana it is called antaranga sadhana internal uh, internally you have to make sadhana it is not external sadhana it is internal sadhana so all the three dharana dhyana samadhi put together is called meditation not only dhyana itself is not meditation meditation may be having lot of different steps all these different steps are put together totally it is called meditation dharana is focusing power without focusing power you can't do meditation so it is also a part of meditation and then in dhyana i am talking already in different varieties of dhyanas or meditations are there samadhi right now we cannot practice you can know what is samadhi the theory part of it we will deal it so first five meditations we have to learn and practice after that we can go to the sixth meditation it is called as vedantic meditation so first of all your nama japa meditation relaxation meditation concentration meditation expansion meditation and value meditation so this five has to be continuously practiced so already i told the vijnana bhairava tantra is the original book on the meditation it is stating 112 types of meditation 
So the essence of all 112 meditations is the six meditations. So all the signs behind that, all the 112, is what I am talking is the six basic meditation, all the techniques used in 112 are six, these six techniques only. So that's why we have seen the Nama Japa meditation and today we are going to see the relaxation meditation. Who does not want relaxation? Everybody wants relaxation. So the relaxation meditation, it is the universal meditation. Anybody can do it, anybody can practice it. So it is not much exposed even if you are not learned about uh, scriptures or anything also, you can do it. You need not be a religious person also, also not a problem. But the secular meditation means without their own God, if Christianity is there, they have their own God is there, Akura, Islam is there, their own God, or anybody who are meditates, they will be bringing the God into your mental existence. So you are on the backdrop of God, this one only it has to be done. Otherwise, it is not called as a meditation, it is called as a mental exercise. Mental exercise for relaxation can be done, but it will not give you full benefit. So, for example, if you fall down and say God name Govinda, if you say that, then it becomes pronounced to God. It is as simple as that. Otherwise, if you fall down and get up, it becomes simply push-ups. So you are making a physical exercise. So even accidentally when you fall down also, somebody has come in the video, please. So if you tell the name, it becomes a Sashtanga Namaskara for the God. So it involves bhakti. So the bhakti is also should be there. So that is what Ramana Mahashi said. Uttamavastamat ucha mandataha chitta japam. Chitta jam japam dhyana muttamam. So you have to, chitta japa has to be there on the God, this one. So that is what internally mind you have to say. That is the best dhyana. Ramana Mahashri says that that is the best dhyana. So, relaxation techniques means stress relieving techniques. For example, if you are a manufacturing person, you know that. So, even chapati making, if you are making chapati, you are making the atta. Atta, you are mixing with water and making a atta kneading and then keeping it for 40, 30 minutes, 40 minutes with a wet cloth on that. So, when you are making atta knead also, atta dough also, immediately you make chapati, it will not come. Because it is under stress, you are putting all your hand like that, making that. So, it needs some relaxation for itself. That's why you are keeping aside 30 minutes and then you are making chapatis. So, when the stress, it happens. So, we are having a lot of stress because of we have body also, mind also, and prana also is there. So, whereas inert objects, suppose for example, if you go to any metal working, for example, if you want to make a drinking glass from a stainless steel sheet, so, you take a required amount of stainless steel and so you will be draw, so you will be deep drawing into two stages, maybe one stage you deep draw. So, by that time it is all becoming stress. The atoms are helter-skelter is there. It is not in a uniform state, it is not there. So, what they will do, they will put it in the oven and heat it for some time, leave it for some time. Then the all atoms are arranged in a sequential manner, in a straight line manner it will. So that process is called stress relief. Then after that it goes for the second process. 
then the your drinking glass tumbler will be finished in the stainless steel manufacturing process even in chapati or anywhere even if sweet you want to do make it and keep it for some time and then you do the next operation in between operations two three rest will be given so that rest given is nothing but stress relieving for that process but the morning to evening we are running around we are not taking rest the rest in the hour means is just sitting in front of tv or in front of in the sofa just lie down so these are all not stress relieving because stress it is not a physical stress only it is lot of other stresses are there mental stress is there and also lot of uh, your chronic energy stress also will be there it is not properly flowing and all your internally systems are there voluntary systems like blood circulation is there breathing techniques is there and neuro psychological neurological systems are there bone and muscle systems are there so many systems are there it has all got stressed your thinking process is all so there it is all everything is get stressed just by seeing tv you are not doing any work not doing any work will not make you stress so or just seeing the tv sitting in an easy chair or a sofa and having a small nap all not give you stress relieving will not happen a small portion of relaxation may happen but you are not gone into the fully relaxation stage so you have to learn your relaxation process so for that you have to hear mark then only your heart will come to normal breathing will come to normal blood pressure everything what all the systems are there everything will become normal back to normal so you have to have relaxation techniques and you have to pay lot of attention to that and do that so these are all can be done only this meditation can be done even by lying down also most of the meditation i said you have to sit and do this meditation you can do even by lying down on a mat not on the bed so on a mat separately on a uh, some other place you can sleep Uh, lay down and awake not during sleep so you have to do this can be done so further we will know how to do this and all at the end of the this one first we will understand why we have to do this stress relieving this one because every time when we do from morning to evening our activity all our systems there are involuntary systems are there in body blood circulation is going on involuntarily neuro system is going involuntarily digestive system is there reproductive system is there skeletal system is there muscle system is there all system is working we think body is working but and mentally lot of thought processes are also working so lot of work is happening for this work happening you need lot of energy that energy some portion of the things comes from your food it is not very 100% of the things is not coming from the food alone so the water also gives energy and also air also gives you energy and light also gives you energy sunlight gives you energy so all these energies you have to take if you are not if you think only eating can give you energy it is wrong concept maybe 30 to 40% of the energy it can come you know one of the fact is whatever you are eating from that 60 to 70% of the energy is consumed only for digestion itself if you eat 100 units of food around 60 units of the food is required to digest the food itself so that means you are left out with only 40% of the energy so it is not that if you eat more you will get more energy or not it is not the way so you have getting the energy even by by good thinking also you will get energy if you are thinking badly you are drained out of the energy 
So that's why we always say positive thinking and all. So like uh, doing uh, any japa, parayana also will give you energy. Apart from that, sunlight is giving energy. Wind is giving energy. So you are exposed to wind body and uh, breathing natural air, not the stuffed room air. It will give you instantaneously energy will come. Water will give you energy. Not your Coca-Cola and all instantaneously sugar may go up, but it is not giving you sustained energy. So sustained energy means all these things has to be worked out. Then only the energy will be there. When energy is there, your mind computer works better. Because energy is shorted, you get angry. Energy is very much shortage is there, you get confused. You don't know what to do. You don't have any priorities. You become lethargic. You make postponement. Everything happens is the lack of energy and lack of focus also comes. So you have to upkeep the energy. And when during upkeeping the energy itself, you are going to remove the stress. So that is called relaxation techniques. Relaxation techniques is simple technique, but anybody can use it. And there are a lot of things are there in a different, different names are there. But finally, I will tell you what are the important techniques are there. So those things can be practiced. Last time I have said uh, some prerequisites for making meditation. All types of meditation needs preparation for that. Last time I said Desha, the place of meditation, Kala, the time of meditation, Asana, the seat of meditation, Sharira Stiti is the body posture, how it should be there, Karana Samyama, that means control of sensory equipments, instruments. All those things is common for all meditation. In all meditation, this is a basic steps has to be followed. Last class detailedly I have spoken about that. So in order to concentrate on anything, we need that basic steps. Otherwise you cannot concentrate, you cannot do anything. This technique, relaxation technique, is a simple one because you are not going to concentrate on anything. You are just observing, you are not concentrating. What all you are concentrating, so how to concentrate, we will go in the, the details further. But some theory you have to also know why this one. So your life should be balanced life. That means if you are only working, working and work and work and no relaxation, it is called workaholism. So it is equally problematic like alcoholism. Alcoholism is Everybody knows it is bad. Similarly, workaholism without any relaxation is also bad. I already said even simple material working. So there is a stress relieving has to happen. Even in a construction, some brickwork is done and plastering has to be done. Today, this much plastering only will be done and then it will be cured. So then stress will be removed. Otherwise, if you go again and again continuously on the, I'll put 10 people, complete the plastering today itself. The full, uh, this one, it will not work. It will crack somewhere. So everywhere you have to give a time for stress relieving. So relaxation of all the raw materials also need to be relaxed. Even in the harbor, the ship is moving. All the material coming from one country to another country, they will be keeping it is a cooling time is there. Some cooling time will be 24 hours, 72 hours also is there. Some of the liquids are coming means immediately you cannot unload. It may explode. So there also there will be cooling time. That cooling time is nothing but relaxation for that material. And um, otherwise it may fire accident. Anything can happen. So when material itself is required to be given rest, what about man? So the rest, whatever we are thinking, sleeping or uh, seeing TV or something like that, it will not give you rest. So you have to have a proper relaxation techniques. 
So all round relaxation also you have to do. Not only one point of relaxation. So actually we are made up of five levels of personality. Five levels of personality is called as pancha koshas. In Atma Jnana Kosha, this one in Pancha Koshas will be detailedly explained. But now only I am quoting the names. The first personality layer is Annamaya Kosha. Second personality layer is Pranamaya Kosha. Third level is called as Manomaya Kosha. The fourth one is called Vijnanamaya Kosha. The fifth one is called as Anandamaya Kosha. So Anandamaya Kosha is going to get enlightened to that level of this one. So now the relaxation techniques is mainly going in these three levels. One is Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha and Manomaya Kosha. So Annamaya Kosha is the physical body. Physical body relaxation has to happen. Second one is called Pranamaya Kosha. Pranamaya Kosha we are all knowing that air is breathed in and air is breathed out. When you are air breathing in, the oxygen is going inside. When you are breathing out, the carbon dioxide is going out. So this is breathing technique. This is called Pranamaya Kosha. So this is, our physically we know it as a breathing technique. But when you breathe, what happens? So it will get converted into five pranas. So that is called Prana, Apana, Vyana, Udana, Samana, Pancha Pranas. And Pancha Pranas are controlling five systems in the body like circulatory system, nervous system and digestive system. So each Prana is going to get controlling each system. The one oxygen what we are taking, one breathing we are taking it becomes five prana. The five pranas are managing our body. So if the energy is becoming less means prana is becoming less. So we are not able to do deep breathing or we are not able to convert a lot of. This one is there. Our lungs has got five chambers are there. Right side three chambers are there. Right, left side of the lung has got two chambers. Totally the five chambers. So according to the scripts, these five pranas will be taking the shapes of these five chambers and then it goes to its respective place and do the work. So, in a normal, this one, a breathing, when you do around five liters of two air may be required. But most of us, we breathe only two to three liters. We do the shallow breathing. When you start deep breathing up to 10 liters, 12 liters also, the chest can expand. So the expansion means so much of oxygen will go at one breathing. Otherwise, shallow breathing like dog breathing, rabbit breathing. Rabbit, you see, continuously breathes. Dog also, breathing is very, very shallow is there. So as a human being, we have been given a mind. So when mind we are applying, we can bring the relaxed breathing also. So the breathing can be reduced, means number of cycles can be reduced. But in each cycle, the volume of air, volume of oxygen going in can be increased. So normally whenever we are breathing, on an average human being, around 12 to 18 times per minute, a person is breathing. That means one inhalation and one exhalation is put together is called one cycle of breathing. So in a minute, an average person breathes about 12 cycles to 18 cycles. Suppose the same person gets angry, he breathes up to 30 cycles per minute. So when he is getting confused or when he is getting disturbed psychologically, so his breathing goes heavy. It is not going straight. Some air breathing happens, some air breathing not happens. So he is gasping for the air. So that's why you feel that I am suffocated. I want to go to the fresh air 
all those things is coming because of the thought process because of that thought i am confused i am fearful i am afraid all these things you lose the breath when you lose the breath the breath is not going in coming in out somewhere it is stuck so that's why you feel suffocated you want either fan or something like that or fresh air you have to go then only the again breathing will come to normal so these are all happening because we are not properly doing it so the annamaya kosha relax relaxation is the first step happens this is the grossest level the grossest level is this annamaya kosha is nothing but the skeleton systems two not six bones are there and all the joints are there so all these joints and uh, this one along with muscles are there nervous system is there this all the system put together is called annamaya kosha this annamaya kosha has to be relaxed physical personality physical body need to be relaxed so what how to be relaxed so that uh, at the end of that thing i will be telling how to do the relaxation what all the things has to be done so simply to say is here we have to give our auto suggestion saying that or we can have a recorded i can make my own recording or somebody recorded also may be available we can take that also and do so recording will say please relax your hand relax your leg relax your cough muscle thigh muscle like that and all they will be telling that and uh, relax your face muscles all those things when you say and also you take your mind so you start observing that part you are going to get relaxed so this is the physical methodology how to do that i will give you the systematically how it has to be done at the end of the class i will tell that from top of the body to the toe of the body you can start relaxing from top to bottom that means in the morning when you want to do you can do that or from the bottom of the tip of the toe to the head you can go reverse side and relax also so that can be done before just sleeping or when you are going to go to sleep no problem because it will be totally relaxed and you will get a good sleep morning itself if you do you will be in a sleeping mode so better from top to bottom you do the relaxation so even in the evenings before going to bed or something bottom to uh, top also it can be done so we have to see what type of physical relaxation is required so it is all telling to the body so we are talking to our body so first i may say for example relax your head relax your forehead relax your eyes relax your nose relax your cheek cheeks and chin tongue lips like that slowly you say the whole head is relaxed whole head is relaxed when you say that head get relaxed because auto suggestion our blood circulation and everything nervous system has got an impact it relaxes but only thing when your auto suggestion is coming you have to take your attention that means you have to start observing relax your head when i am telling you start thinking of outside anywhere it is not so you need not concentrate but you have to go with the word so and relax your head means you have to take your attention towards center not go inside the head or anything like that so like that when you do body will get relaxed very fast so in this also there are three techniques are there one is called instant relaxation technique so instantly you can get relaxed within a minute so like that it is there another one is quick relaxation techniques maybe 5 minutes you can get more take more relaxation you can get deep relaxation technique is there so that is around in 10 minutes you get totally deep relaxation sounds so possible so the deep relaxation stage also is called as yoga nidra so the deep relaxation techniques all this can be done only while lying down not by sitting you cannot do this relaxation techniques instant relaxation technique quick relaxation techniques 
and the deep relaxation technique. The deep relaxation takes only hardly 10 minutes. So whereas quick relaxation, five minutes. So instant relaxation, only one minute it will take. So that is possible. Instantly you need energy or you feel lethargic. You can do instant relaxation techniques. So I will tell you about that further. So what happens is when we are sleeping, we get some amount of relaxation happens because we are not connected with the body. Body lies automatically some because eight hours you are sleeping and also in the sleep you are going this side, that side, bed may not be comfortable, cool, hot, all those things are there. But still body somehow everything will get relaxed. So whereas here in the relaxation technique within one minute, five minutes and ten minutes you can make very quick relaxation techniques possible. So this is we have to learn and we have to do. So slowly in the sleep what happens we are disconnecting with the body and we are also disconnecting with the mind. So when we disconnected with the body and mind then only it is called as deep sleep. So if your mind is not disconnected still worrying about yesterday or worrying about future and you are getting a disturbed sleep. So your mind is not fully slept. In the sleeping stage there are four frequencies are there alpha, beta, gamma and theta stages. So all these three four stages has to go and the theta stage is about 20 minutes. Deep sleep stage it will go. If you are reaching that only it is called as a good sleep. Somebody will go to first level and second level only and get up in the morning. So they will get body lethargy is there, no freshness, why I have to get up another 10 minutes and can sleep, all these things are happening. Because your mind is not relaxed, body is also not relaxed. So that's why you are not getting deep sleep. Somebody may go to the gamma stage also and then sleep can happen and get up. But still you may not be able to, you will have a lot of body pain, this pain, that pain and all will be there. If you go to theta stage, there only the full body, mind, everything get relaxed. You will feel fresh when you get up. So you are not stressed. Most of us whenever we are getting itself is stressed. So most of us whenever we are getting itself body pain is there. So that means we don't know how to do the stress relieving. We don't know how to do the this one. So this relaxation techniques is nothing but stress relieving of the physical body, mind and prana. All the three things. So Annamaya Kosha is the first thing. The physical body we have to relax. So when we physical body, when we relax, our efficiency increases, our happiness also increases and all the required hormones will be beautifully this one. So this relaxation techniques is nothing but sleep like condition only, but it is not going to sleep. So you are not going to go to sleep, but it is a, in the sleep what all your body experiences, the similar relaxation, similar stress relieving, everything you can experience. So that is called the Annamaya Kosha relaxation. Annamaya Kosha relaxation is nothing but telling your body parts one by one, please relax, please relax, auto suggestion has to you have to name the portion of the body, for example, all the toes of the left leg, please relax. Sole of the leg, please relax. Relax. So when you say your mind when it goes there, it gets relaxed. Suppose your child is crying, if you are just go on beating or something, it will not stop crying. No. You have to attend that child. So you have to listen to its story. You have to tell something and you have to make a dialogue. When the dialogue happens, when you are getting connected with the child, child stops crying. Otherwise, we adults also we are crying. Nobody else is seeing that. Internally in our mind we are crying. So, this crying of the body is also happening. 
So body you want to talk to us, but we are not ready to talk to it. At least five minutes, 10 minutes you have to spend for this Annamaya Kosha. So this is what called Annamaya Kosha relaxation. When you talk to the part, the part only one, once in a day, you just say, my calf muscle is relaxed. So it feels happy. I am working for him from morning to evening. At least now he has given thanks. Calf muscle will say, thank you. And then it starts working. So it understands. So we have to have the Annamaya Kosha. We have to do that. Otherwise we do physical exercises like running or gym and all those things. But still after that you need some relaxation is required. Talking to your parts. So initially the talking to your parts becomes relaxation. If you higher level, if you go in the meditation, you talk to your internal parts. My dear heart, please relax. And you say all your internal parts, liver, please intestine, pancreas, stomach, everything you can say. So when you say relax, it get relaxed. So it will cure lot of diseases. So it is called healing meditation. So when you are talking to your internal parts, it becomes a healing meditation. So when you talk to your external parts, it is becomes a relaxation meditation. Healing meditation requires lot of concentration also, not possible to do. So first we are looking into Annamaya Kosha relaxation. Annamaya Kosha relaxation is called as physical body relaxation. So you must have understood now what I am talking about. You have to talk to your part or some recorded talking to your part. So you can only follow the recorded instruction and go to that part and say, so relax, relax, please relax. When you say relax sole of the feet, right thigh, left thigh and all if you say kneecap, everything will get relaxed. So when you say relax means it understands it, he is giving thanks. So it will not get stressed. Somebody is there to attend me. Otherwise I am continuously working. My manager is not attending me. My supervisor is not knowing what is the work is happening. And at the promotion time also they will be forgetting. All those things are happening. You get frustrated as a human being. Similarly body also is helping me to survive. I have to give thanks. Thanks can be making ask them to relax. So you are orally attending and telling that. So the every part of the body feels happy because you are attending. You are giving thanks. Thanks in the name of please relax. Take rest. You are telling at least fraction of a second. So it takes rest. Definitely it takes rest. It becomes very fast and relaxed. So when you practice this physical relaxation techniques, IRT, DRT, and IRT, QRT and DRT, instant relaxation techniques, quick relaxation techniques and deep relaxation technique. When you do that, you definitely you will know how fresh you will become immediately. What you have done, you have done nothing. You have only spoken to your parts of the body, external parts of the body. Similarly, when you have a disease and all, you start talking to the internal parts of the body that also will be feeling happy. It cooperates with us. Many of the diseases will go without meditation. The possibilities are very high. So second one is called Pranamaya Kosha. Pranamaya Kosha also has to be relaxed. So Pranamaya Kosha I am talking is, so though we are breathing one oxygen, but it get converted into pancha pranas. Prana, apana, vyana, udana, samana. So these five pranas are making five digest, five systems internally. It has to work along with these five pranas only. So these five pranas is very much has to be relaxed. So this relaxation here now we are not doing pranayam. Pranayama is only it is a physical exercise for the lungs in order to expand. The rib cage has to expand and contract. Those are all the things in the pranamaya. When you are doing pranayama, you are doing that. Your ayama is controlling. Prana is the air. The air flow you are controlling. 
So you are taking in, holding, and then taking out and holding. All those things are there. That is pranayama. Here, what we are doing, pranamaya kosha relaxation is, we are not doing any controlled breathing. We are whatever the breathing is happening. That breathing only we are going to observe. So only we have to observe when you a crying child is attended. Immediately the child will become normal. So when you observe the breathing, your breathing will become slow. When your breathing will become rhythmic also. So now haphazardously it may be going sometime very fast, sometime very slow and all. Just by observing, it is called in Sanskrit prana vikshana. Prana vikshana means seeing the prana, observing the prana. So prana vikshana, you have to do that. So just by vikshana itself, your body, the breathing will become smooth. It is not jerking, it's not there in the breathing. So smoothly breathing happens. Slow, it will also not fast breathing, it will become slow. It becomes rhythmic. So it becomes a just relaxed breathing. It's just by observing how my breathing is happening. I am not controlling anything. Just observing where is the air is going, where how it is going inside, how it is going outside, and whenever it is going inside, what is the temperature? So it is going inside cool, coming out hot. Just observing. These are all the observation. You are not concentrating on that. When you observe itself, you get relaxation. So the pranamaya kosha relaxation is nothing but prana vikshanam. You have to do prana vikshanam means, for example, when your breathing is happening, you may be observing your stomach is coming up. Inside, when inhalation is going on, stomach is going up and stomach is going down. So, it is you are not observing the stomach, the process of breathing you are observing, but you are not controlling. I want to deeply breathe and then I have to breathe only six times a minute. That all control you are not doing. Whatever the fashion the breathing is happening, that breathing only you are observing. That is called pranavikshanam. So, when you do that, you will get deep relaxation. It will happen and uh, that is also another method of pranamaya kosha relaxation. Then we have the manavamaya kosha is mind also need to be relaxed. Mind is operating in four levels. One is called mind. Mind itself is only having the feelings, emotions. It is the poor emotion part of the mind, feeling part of the mind is mind. The another one is called intellect. It is only logical part of the mind and thinking part of the mind and all those things. So this calculation part of the mind. So that is mind is called intellect. We have left brain and the right brain is there. The left brain is logical. Left brain is calculative. Left brain all the this one is there. Analytical everything will be done doing the left brain. In the right brain, it is all feeling, emotion and all is there. Compassion, empathy, everything is there. So, it is called left right hemisphere and right hemisphere. So, that is why in the earlier days, now today every human being including male and female, they are gone to the corporate world. Now who is female, who is male, we can't understand. So that is why Ardhana Vishwara principle has come. A man has to have 50% of the left brain operation, 50% of the right brain operation has to happen. Then he will become a balanced man. So now we are operating left brain 100% of the time. Right brain, we don't have the time at all. There is no feeling, there is no compassion, there is nothing is there. We become just like a machines. So too much of using left brain will make this. Too much of this one you are making the right brain. Right brain is artistic. All the arts you can learn and all the compassion and everything. Maybe productivity will become less. So you have to balance. So that is what Ardha Narishwara. A man has to become half man and half woman. And a woman has to become half woman and half man. So everybody has to become 
Ardhanarishwara is because of that mind has to be balanced. Only analytical mind, only thinking mind, only logical mind will stress make you a lot of stress. So feeling and emotion also will make you a lot of stress. So maybe you have to drop feelings at some point of time, not keeping throughout the, this one. So this is a balancing act has to be done by this Manomaya Kosha relaxation. So Manomaya Kosha, this aspect of too much using is called stress. So we are going to get stress because of this one-sided activity. So whenever you play with the child, you are going to get happy because child is not making any judgment. So along with the child, you also don't make any judgment. You only observe the child smiling, beating the hands and fingers and simply laughing and without any reason and eyes are not having any calculation. Eyes are bright, wet and very luminous, very sparkling is there. So when you sit with the child, you also you get relaxed because your mind is not going to do any calculation. If an adult is standing, you are very careful. You have become very already conscious. So whether to speak to him or not, what type of question he will ask. So whenever you are doing all the calculation before talking to somebody, so your mind is getting stressed. With a child, you are not getting stressed. With the nature, you are not going to stress. If you are sitting and observing a tree, the tree is just tree. So it is not asking you a question. It is not asking you threaten. It is not threatening you. When it is not threatening, your mind totally gets relaxed. If you stand in front of the beach or stand in front of open sky or moonlight, so what is happening? So you are getting totally relaxed immediately. The mind will not have any calculation. It stops calculation. So that is called anayasa. Anayasa, we have to get relaxed. Anayasa means without any effort, we have to relax. So, without any effort, we want to relax means we have to come out of so much of man made things. All the man made things will create stress in you. So, if you come out and go to the natural way of living, Natural way means sunlight is there. I am not going into it. Quickly I go into the car, come inside the house and sit in front of the TV hours together. But I am not going outside and enjoying the moon, or star, night, sun coming out, sun is rising, sun setting. All these things gives you relaxation. A deep relaxation it gives. That's why you are going to picnic in order to do. But daily in our house only we can get it all these things free. Free air is available outside if you go. Whenever you are too much stressed, what you are going to do? You will be stretching like this and doing like that, all those things. And also go inside, outside the balcony or in the open area. See the plants or trees or some sky clouds. Then you will get relaxed and go again and sit in computer and start working. So what, are, what is that happening that indicates? So whenever you go to the natural way of living, you are not getting stressed. But our earning is also required. It gets stressed means. So what is required for the work only, we can do calculation sufficient. But we do over calculation, futuristically, past and other personality judgment. So many things when we are doing, your mind will get heated up. A heated computer will go what happens. It will get seized. So it will get hang up. Our mind also, whenever it is get heated up, we become blank. So we go for either coffee, kick, giving any instantaneously relaxation is happening. So something like that, uh, that uh, instant drinks and all those things, whatever we are drinking in order to make quick energy surge has to happen. But it is dangerous for the blood vessels, dangerous for the nervous system. Instantly, you should not do it. So you should have to have progressively. So that's why you have to be associated with nature. So then only it goes to anayasa means without any, you are personally involving in that. Automatically, your mind should get relaxed. Otherwise, you have to have a lot of relaxation aids. 
finally nothing works you will talk start taking sleeping tablets and drugs alcohol everything because we are not able to manage the mind to relax so these are the advance initially it starts with coffee tea afterwards with some medicines afterwards energy tablets everything is happening because supplements energy supplements because we don't know how to manage our annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha so we have this ashta gunas are there so the mind has to be understood this so mind has to work and practice this so with this itself relaxation will happen what all the ashta gunas vedanta says is one is compassion compassion is empathy so compassion has to be there so compassion means uh, we have apathy sympathy and empathy three words are there apathy means for example you have seen somebody is fallen down so you just like see and go off they are not even you may have lot of time also you don't have any time to you don't have any urgent work also in spite of it you don't want to attend that person you don't give importance also so that is apathy so second is sympathy is there suppose somebody has fallen in the well something like uh, it is a dry well is there or a pit so you go also and uh, oh he has fallen now uh, you also jump into the pit and you hug him embrace him and oh you have fallen down why don't worry i am there so after 10 minutes you realize earlier only one person was in the pit now i am also in the same pit they both of us has to be rescued by the third man the sympathy is only not giving any solution sympathy instantaneously gives somebody is with me but it is not going to solve your problem so sympathizing people will drag you to their pit so if you expect sympathy instantaneously it is just like a coffee immediately kick may come but afterwards you realize that sympathizing person is not able to help me so i need a empathizing person empathizing person is oh you have fallen down in the pit okay wait wait when you have fallen down every inquiry he makes so when you have fallen down okay you need any water or any food is required don't worry i am there to save you i'll make arrangements and uh, immediately you need food he will bring the food and give and the water and everything he will give he give assurance also so slowly he get comfortable then this man will go and bring a ladder or bring people and uh, the ladder will be put inside ask him to come up so he will come out of the pit and then this person he will go off just like that his natural work he is continuing the helping person he will go himself he is not waiting for the thanks he is not waiting for to get recognized so he just goes empath so this is empathetic so we have to practice the compassion that is empatheticness we have to be practiced this is one of the guna of the mind has to be we have to practice in order to have the mind relaxation forbearance forbearance is nothing but tolerance in sadhana chatushtaya i have spoken about titiksha it is called nothing but forbearance tolerance endurance so physical endurance mental endurance everything we have to practice so by practicing mind get relaxed and also we have a bad habit of finding fault with others i am only correct everything around me is wrong in everything i am finding fault with others so by finding fault with others my mind is getting stressed i should not find fault with others so how many people in the world you will find fault there are 750 crore people are there every fault everybody is fault you are going to every system everything what is the use of that it is available as it is so don't do finding the fault you just forget and improve yourself that is the another methodology to relax mind relaxation the purity the purity of the mind should be there the clarity cleanliness freshness of that has to be maintained 
So I my self everything is getting over analyzing too much analysis. So what is happening in management language? Analysis paralysis. If you do too much analysis, you are not going to take decision at all. So in some way, at least 50, 60% is okay. Then you have to take decision and go. Otherwise, I want 90, 900% correct, assured. Then only I will take. Means somebody else will take the opportunity. He will succeed and we will fail. But you have done detailed analysis. But somebody got benefited out of that. So thereby again you are going to get stress. The purity, clarity, cleanliness, freshness also makes you your mind relaxed. So this is Ashtaguna. It is said in the scriptures. So another one is avoidance of lethargy. It is talking about another guna. This is guna is lethargy means in an empty mind is devil's workshop. So that's why in order to have unnecessarily thoughts are coming, you are doing nama japa. So similarly, you are getting up, taking bath and walking for five minutes or something like that. So the lethargy you have to beat. First to five minutes of getting lethargy if you are not beating up. So what happens? You want to stay some more time in the bed. So another half an hour, it goes to another two hours, three hours. So like a Sunday morning, you are not going to get up at. So getting up 12 o'clock for an eating breakfast. These are all lethargy. So the lethargy means outside cleanliness and inside cleanliness when happens, the lethargy will go. So your external atmosphere, cluttering of your room, house, everything has to be decluttered. Similarly, your thought process has to be decluttered. Then only the lethargy will go. So that is another guna. So these are all the gunas. Mind get relaxed. Compassion, forbearance, not finding fault with others, purity and avoidance of lethargy. And another thing is be optimistic. So always we are pessimistic. So whatever we first think of negative and then think of positive. So the moment somebody has not returned home, so you will think all negative things only. So he is coming, he has gone in the motorbike, whether he has fallen down or so in the middle of the road, nobody may be attending or like this only, he is getting late, he has not telephoned. So instead of that, uh, he is coming home safely. So that is the thought process why we are not doing. We always think all the negative things only. So that is, should not be done. This is another guna, it is called as be optimistic. So every positive moment we have to become, we think more positively. Suppose uh, you have a, Headache. Some people will think so much. Headache means um, I may be having vitamin deficiency, or uh, it may be tumor may be there, or it may be cancer may be there. Somebody, my friend, was telling. So headache to that, and finally when you start doing that, according to law of attraction, so whatever you think, it will come also. So the tumor will come. So you should not think negatively. Be optimistic. Thereby, your mind gets relaxed. So, and also you should not be stingy. Not only by money. Money, money stinginess, okay. There are a lot of things are there. Even if you, somebody is asking you, talking, you are smiling itself, you stingy. Your grim face like that. What is the stinginess? Why you cannot smile? So, if you start practicing smiling, your relaxation will happen. The stinginess on the everything in order to help somebody or in order to talk and make their light for everything we show stinginess. So this stinginess should not be there. That is another quality of the mind has to be developed. Another one is non-attachment. It is dispassion in Viveka we have said in the uh, Sadhana Chatrashtaya second this one. Dispassion. Disp non-attachment is not a detachment. See, detachment means first I have got attached and then it become detached. But whereas non-attachment is the quality of the mind, before getting attached itself, I will think whether it should get attached or not get attached. So how much attached and detachment only I will have with all the things. These are all called eightfold virtues. These all eightfold virtues when you do, 
it becomes anayasa relaxation so without any of your effort automatically your mind will get relaxed because we have lost all this eight gunas all this eight virtues because of that only our mind is getting lot of stress and strain mind relaxation is the third level manomaya kosha has to this one in order to the manomaya kosha relaxation we can do visualization of the nature or moonlight or something a pet animal or innocent who is not questioning you back all of us are fear because if i present a view point immediately there are 10 people to boycott that view point so because of that you are not opening your mouth because we are threatened so because of that insecure feeling the mind is getting stressed so because i have the only one person is loving father mother or brother sister wife so i don't want to lose with him also so that's why you don't want to fight you don't want to this not fighting is not going to solve you are not freely expressing because they are criticizing they are judging so the other man when he judges you also start judging so somewhere we have to solve this problem without judgment can we have a relationship so non judgmental relationship will gives you more security when that more security is there your expression when comes freely your mind get relaxed so then only you will get the happiness happiness is not easy by accumulating things buying whatever you want you will not get happy momentarily you will get happy after that you are not going to get happy all these things can happen by auto suggestion auto suggestion is telling to myself so please relax mind also when you say the mind also get relaxed so everything has to do so another thing is mind relaxation scriptures say surrender to god it is the most effective method it is called sharanagati surrender to god in the sense you are not telling okay you take care of me i am not do anything not that way all your tensions because why it is coming is most of our tensions in the life we cannot wait we have impatience in waiting waiting for the future to unfold in its own way we are not able to wait still child is going to lkg already i am thinking of ms making at the 25th years of the boy he has to go to the best university of the ms he has to make and then so much of waiting is there this waiting period is making you stressed so you also tell your mind the tomorrow will come tomorrow only after 24 hours only hours only 20 tomorrow can come whatever you try to do tomorrow cannot come today that means tomorrow whatever has to happen whatever you have to do tomorrow only you can do what is the use of that so the surrendering means we have to wait we have to give time our effort is very much required but everything is not in our hand even a farmer he cannot grow paddy within one month not possible so he has to wait for six months so everything has it got its own time waiting is there waiting patiently has to happen we have become impatient our children will have the impatience they will show you promise them i will give you a toy apa when you will give toy tomorrow will we go you already said one week you will after that sunday i will go to market and get but if very now and then it is it is impatient it cannot wait up to sunday so this in e quick whatever is happening now so this one word is there instant gratification so we are showing instant gratification in every aspect either to wife or children or to myself that instant gratification has made us not to wait so instant gratification should not happen at least 72 hours cooling time for our desires we have to make after 72 hours only you have to attend after that also you have to give a calculated thoughts whether it is required or not required when you make the desire to wait for 72 hours it is no instant gratification the desire itself may vanish you may not require that desire also to fulfill 
So like that, all mind will calculate, mind will do its own analysis, your mind will not get stressed. When you start doing instant gratification, mind becomes absent. Anyway, you are doing instantly, you do it. So in order to make that, you need a lot of resources, your body, mind and money and all other resources are required. So you will get stress to manage the resources. So the mind relaxation has to happen. That is what you have to give Sharanagati, surrender. That means you have to have the patience to wait the event to unfold on its own way. Not you cannot make a flower, a bud is there. I want the flower to open it. All the petals you are going to open means the natural flower blooming, it may stay for one week in the tree, in the plant. If you physically open the petals, what happens? Immediately it dies. My body temperature, again, it will die. The bloom, the bud is going to die. It will not bloom. So you are forcibly blooming. Your life also, you are forcibly blooming. That's why you are going to get a lot of stress. So this is another point is said in Vedanta. We have to give surrender. Our effort is very much required. We have to have all the physical, mental effort, everything has to happen. And But one thing we should know, everything is not only 100% not in my hand. There are so many hands has to work to get materialized. We have to wait for that unfolding of the event. Then I will get relaxed. So this is called surrendering is wait for the event to happen. So however you make a pressure, pressure, a boy cannot become 18 years old immediately. A child has to pass 18 years, 18 birthdays and then only he can go to the next level. So the readiness to wait and readiness to face that means all the things according to my calculated things only will happen. No, it may not happen. There may be your plan A is not working, plan B may work, plan C may work, plan D may work and none of the things also may work. So you should be ready to, one is readiness to wait, another readiness to face the whatever is coming the outcome. For that also you should have, then only the mind deep relaxation it goes. These are the two hindrances for us, why we get stressed. So that is what Vedanta says. So please surrender. And uh, consequent to that is readiness to wait and uh, see the event has to unfold, unfold by itself. So that is what it is telling. I was talking about relaxation techniques. So I said, these are all the Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha. All the three relaxed only, you become a relaxed personality. Otherwise, only sleeping, oversleeping, 10 hours, more sleeping will give you more lethargy. And somebody says 8 hours of sleep required, it is all filled in our body, mind by the modern science and this one. But if you do deep relaxation, if you do deep sleep, you go. Only 4 to 5 hours also sufficient. The Himalayan yogi is Modi, for example, he works for 20 hours. He knows what is the deep relaxation technique. He does that. Not everybody knows. So maybe such people are there. We have to learn from them. And deep relaxation is possible. Within short sleep also possible. So now we will go into IRT, QRT and DRT. IRT is called as instant, instantaneous relaxation techniques. Instantaneous relaxation technique is you are going to sleep, the you are going to lie down on a mat and you are going to give control, auto suggestion you are giving. You are starting from your right leg. So right leg, toe, you are talking and very fast you are talking. So toe, my right leg, toe is relaxed. Uh, no, for my right leg, I am going to hold the tightness. All the toes, I am going to hold tight, the leg, the feet is hold tight, held tight, calf muscle, thighs up to the shoulder, this one. Similarly, left also will be making tight and the body of the stomach made tight and chest made tight, shoulder made tight, hands also made tight. 
and hand fist is closed and also up to this neck everything is getting tight so hold tight tight when you say two times and everything at a time you have to hold tight and then relax immediately leave it so this is instantaneous relaxation technique so it is within a minute you can get relaxed your body mind wherever the prana is getting stuck down, it get open up and you are getting relaxation techniques the qrt technique is similar you have to sleep and when you are sleeping you are watching the breath the breath means the deep breathing first three four times you have to do first five times you have to breathe through the nose another five times you have to that uh, breathing out through the mouth first five times breathe through the nose and breathe out from the mouth while while sleeping only by sleeping only normal method not force or nothing inhale and exhale through the mouth so after that you start observing how the air is going inside and your stomach should go up and stomach should come down when you do that observation for 5 minutes you get relaxation and during that you can chant akara number akara means uh, when you say your uh, navel point button is there no navel button is going to vibrate when it is vibrating the energy point is getting so a deep relaxation is going to happen akara has to be chanted so that is called the quick relaxation technique within 5 minutes you get the relaxation the third one is progressive that is called the deep relaxation technique it is progressive relaxation technique also it is called as the so deep relaxation technique is from head to toe or toe to head also you can do every part of the body you have to suggest please relax please relax head please relax forehead please relax back of the head please relax relax face muscle relax nose relax eyes relax eye ball should relax eye lids relax eye brow should relax temples ear all these things relax cheek relaxed chin is relaxed lips are relaxed tongue is relaxed dentine are also relaxed and the whole head is relaxed so this is the deep relaxation technique right from the thing from up to the toe we have to go on auto suggestion when we start doing it so you are going to get this one total relaxation just by that only it happens so in that the reverse way you can do is you have to come back from the point this one up to the stomach you can come relaxing both the legs hips and uh, the back of the seat and also up to the navel cord when you come you again chant akara ah when you say that and from there to the chest portion up to the neck portion you start relaxing giving advice stomach relaxation navel cord and back of the body back of the bone and back of the spinal cord and everything back of the rib front chest everything is getting relaxed when you start telling that up to the neck you start relaxing and then chant ukara ukara is the o the chest portion only vibrates for that o when you do that so during that vibration frequency the relaxation happens then from there the head down so you give all the instruction and then you relax after that you chant on makara makara is mm, when you say makara the head portion will get vibration during vibration everything will get relaxed so this is called the deep relax relaxation techniques so different different names uh, many people may be telling but science behind this only is this irt qrt drt is the science so many people can give 101 names and don't worry about that that's why i am telling the meditation there are thousand names are there don't worry the central science behind that is only nama japa because mind is always has to be given some work otherwise it will take its own work 
So we mind in order to not to do its work, we are giving a Nama, Om Namah Shivaya. So when you continuously chanting without any full stop in between, Om Namah Shivaya, there is a gap and again Om Namah Shivaya. That silence is going to happen in between. So when you continuously do the Nama Japa, Om Namah Shivaya, the next Om Namah Shivaya, there is an in-between silence is there. That silence is going to relax you. The mind does not know how to become silent. By doing Nama Japa, your mind will not do any other work. It will not think of anything also. So it will be here only. And in between two Nama, there is a silence is there. During that silence, our body and mind, everything will get relaxed. So that is why I am telling, don't bother about the names of the meditation. This is the Nama Japa meditation, is the first meditation. This is the second meditation today. What I said is relaxation meditation. Relaxation meditation signs everything I have told. What is Annamaya Kosha? What is Pranamaya Kosha? What is Manomaya Kosha? Relaxation. I have not told about Annamaya Kosha. Annamaya Kosha, we have a personality combined. All these five is put together. Pancha Kosha personality is there. Five sheets of our personality is there. So three... I have just explained, but in Atma Jnana, each Panchakosha will be explained. What is its function? How it behaves? What is the problem? All those things I are going to learn about that Panchakosha in Atma Jnana Taragatis. So, here I said that in the relaxation, this is the sign. Science is instant relaxation, quick relaxation and deep relaxation. Deep relaxation is also called as Yoga Nidra. So, Shavasana in that and relaxing and going for uh, without your knowledge you may get into sleep for two minutes, three minutes. With that you will get uh, so much of freshness for another four hours, five hours. You will have a lot of energy. Not your coffee, beer or any instant drink will not give you. This 10 minutes of deep relaxation technique will give you another six to six hours of your energy will come. So this is a relaxation techniques. So you have to have this, all uh, this one. So before doing, uh, I already said how to sit in a comfortable posture. Hand should be clasped and it should be kept on your lap. And uh, your body, neck and head should be erect. Face should be looking straight. Eyes gently closed. Lips gently closed. No forcible closing of the eyes. No forcible closing of the jaws. No forcible closing of the lips. So everything should be gently closed. And slowly then you start a relaxation of the body. That is the body give the command and do the auto suggestion and do that. There are a lot of auto suggestions are available in the YouTube also. But many one of that we can do. And uh, even a good music can also relax. But auto-suggestion is important, we have to do that. So, so many, this one is there. So, second pranamaya, breathing also has to be observed. That also gives relaxation. And practicing eight gunas, ashta guna, and also uh, waiting for the surrendering yourself, waiting for the things to unfold. Instant gratification is the one thing. You have to wait because who is nobody is making you urgent. We are making ourselves urgent because somebody has purchased a Mercedes Benz car. I have to also purchase. No problem. I will go for loan even 10%, 12%. You don't know immediately instant gratification. Without your knowledge, you are getting into trouble in all the aspects of your life. So you have to cool down and start thinking. And then it will suggest, your mind only will suggest what you do. No extra person is required. Nobody, expert is not required to suggest anything. So other thing is progressive muscle relaxation. So that is also, I have told that, that also has to be done. So apart from that, there are a lot of physical exercises also will help. But if you are doing with awareness, it will help. And visualization also will help. Visualization means... You may love some place, suppose a native or some forest area or some uh, mountain area or a beach area or a river flowing area. 
which you have already imagined that and also pictureize everything if you are sitting on a river bank you see the water is flowing the sound also you have to hear you are sitting in your room only but you have to hear these are all visualization techniques visualization gives lot of quick relaxation will happen you have to smell the water you have to also feel the cold or hot of the water and what is the temperature breeze outside is there everything can be felt by visualization a video is going on the visualization technique is also a relaxation technique you have to do so like that that is also i told so many practicing visualization how to do every activity should do this one another thing is for some self massage can be also done that is also a relaxation technique but it is not going to give you a deep relaxation temporary relaxation making the cup of the this one beating like this or something immediately some blood circulation will happen wherever stuck up of the prana like that and all so you are clapping and making some time no like that so wherever stuck up prana will get released so not massage in the sense is rubbing like that so tapping tapping whenever you do also you will get energy blocked energy will get released at least some relaxation will happen so that can be done also another thing is your uh, normal exercises are there no so those are all rhythmic exercises it is called running walking swimming dancing rowing climbing so anything like you are your shuttle badminton and all so all the things are table tennis or anything where you are getting absorbed and uh, with awareness when you do you get relaxation but whatever i said annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha those three relaxation techniques what i said that is best so when you do that you get the stress relieved and you get energized to face the life every day you have to get energized to face the life otherwise life is tough only everybody knows with whom you are going to talk life is tough for tough for tough for. when you have, you who will come and help you so we have to get energy for that we have to do the relaxation that is what called relaxation meditation so with this i am going to conclude today's talk lot of information lot of theory lot of science and also lot of practicing methodology everything i have told so please observe and uh, make benefit out of that so thank you om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukha bhag bhavit om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om